Hey guys, um, so I finally have my notes from my Pink to Blue Leadership Conference um, I had at the beginning of February. Um, now my notes aren't perfect. Um, there's a few things that we did that I have not looked into to kind of get all the wording right and everything. Um, but I wanted to go over the notes that I did have. Um, I jump around a little bit on my notes, just different thoughts and sayings that people said that kind of rang into my mind a little bit. Um, so basically one of the first things was, um, lead yourself. It's not your sponsor. It's not your downline. It's not your elite upline. It's not any of those people that control your business. It is all you. If you had a bad sponsor, if you had a fantastic sponsor, none of that matters. It matters about what you do and how you lead yourself. So that is very important to get out there. Um, one of the things that we did is we ran around the table. Um, we talked about our why stories. Um, you need to, we need to be honest with our why stories. Um, think about uh, the few of the reasons why you actually started. Um, think about um, what, what did you intend to get out of Unique when you started? Were you a kidnapper? Did you just want the money? Did you just want the makeup? Whatever it might be know why you started okay but know how your why has changed over time um, a lot of us could not put our exact why on paper um, it's something that emotionally drives us <clears throat> so when you're talking about your why to other potential presenters um, make it personal um, whether you're a stay-at-home mom whether you um, are trying to get out of your job, um, granted it won't be tomorrow, um, but it is something that can be worked for down towards the line. So that was really important. Um, as a leader in the company, you want to make sure that you're leading um, and not managing. There's, there's several articles out there. You can just even Google leaders versus managers. Um, you want to, um, I think the word we said was leadermint. You want to be a mixture of a leader and a manager, especially when it comes to building your team. Um, you don't want to pry onto them everything. Um, you know, people learn it their own self. Let them lead themselves. Let them do what they need to do. But be there to guide them and to lead them into what they need to um, accomplish. Okay? Um, so one of the things that I think was in the green and up calls that uh, Dana and Jenny and Haley had went over was that we are um, we are pioneers in this company. We are brand new. We are learning. Um, the company is growing as we're growing, but we are the beginning people in this company. So we're going to have changes. We're going to be expanding. We're going to be learning as we go. Um, you know, in a new company that happens, not everyone can do it right out of the box. Unique has been very fortunate that they have done some amazing things in the first two years, but it's only two years. We're going to be around for a long time. So, um, you know, sometimes things don't work overnight. Um, like Amber Voigt's story, she, she was, I think, purple in her first month. She was black within three months. That's not typical and that's not the average. Um, most of the people that I have kind of followed and learned, it's taken them a year or so to get to black. Um, me, I'm coming up on, um, I, I'm coming up on my year in April, and I've only hit the example for the pink, the pink status. It takes time sometimes. I work full time, 45, 50 hours a week, so my business is almost a small little hobby if somebody were to look on it on the outside. Although I'm working on it on the inside, I'm working very hard. I know it might take me three years to get to black and I'm okay with that. Know your goals and know, know that they need to be realistic. Okay. Um, so make sure as you kind of dive into the business that you have knowledge of what the levels are. Um, know what it takes to hit pink and blue. Know what it takes to hit green and orange and purple and black. Um, know what it is for a new presenter. Remember what it was like whenever you joined. It didn't all click. It took time. Um, so make sure that you, you, you know about things, especially whenever you are growing your team. Look into it. Explore. Explore your back office. Um, explore YouTube and, and, you know, just Google the unique leadership or 
payouts or whatever and you'll find them. <clears throat> Sponsoring is an extension of your product line. Um, so this is something that um, I think Jenny Burns was the one who had said it that, um, you know, how you show your products and how knowledgeable of your products, your sponsoring is going to be the same thing. If you don't know a lot of, you know, the products, what they do, if you've never bought them, um, it's kind of hard to sell stuff when you haven't bought products. So once you kind of know the products and are comfortable with it, sponsoring will be a little bit easier. Granted, for you might get 20 no's before you get a yes. Um, but keep track of that with your hundreds so you know your law of your average. Um, if you get one yes for every 10 or one yes for every 50, you know, at least you're asking and you're getting those no's so that you can get closer to that yes. Um, something that uh, was also said that I really liked, um, you know, with our unique fiber lashes, it's people have different looks. There's the spider leggy look, there's the short look, there's whatever look. Your lashes are an extension of what you want them to look like. Nobody's has to be the same. Nobody's has to be skinny and long. They can be chunky and fat. You know, they can be whatever they want. So that was something I took from that. So um, Tracy, um, our executive um, of sales, I think is her title or something like that. Um, she, as some of you might have known, Every Monday, instead of getting the email from Derek or even the Friday's emails from Melanie, um, they're all coming from Tracy. Tracy has our success in her in her mind. She's working on doing different things. Um, I know people on the team who have contacted her to share their frustration, share things that they want to see. They have great things coming. It just takes time. Remember, we're pioneers. Things take time. They won't happen overnight. Um, so um, on Monday, she's going to be sending you your weekly focus email. If you follow her, add her as a friend on Facebook. If you follow her, I, I get all of her posts that she posts in the unique corporate um, presenters only page. Um, and she is, you know, she's always daily reminders what to do. Ask people. I mean, so if you're stuck, she can help give you ideas. It's not going to be the answer because you have to be able to lead yourself, but she can help guide you in different ways that it might click for you. So at that next point, um, Haley did a color personality quiz to help us kind of figure out what kind of personalities we were. Um, we talked about, um, passion. You have to have passion. If you don't have passion, your products aren't going to sell. You're going to do this a couple months, your friends and family are going to stop buying from you and you're going to be done. Um, it, it, it takes more than your friends and family to support this business. Um, it takes passion. It takes dedication. It takes determination. Um, and it, it just takes, it takes time and it takes time to build things. Um, so know your whys, know your personality, don't over manage, but if you need something, let somebody know. We have tons of uplines, tons of cross lines. I know I've met so many different ladies that um, I contact that I have. I, I won't ever 